Well, Don and Scott, since we've been on the ground here in Rockford, we've had a chance to speak to some people that thought home invasions were going on in this area, only to find out that people were being stabbed. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this is still a very active crime scene at this hour. This has been going on for nearly eight hours at this point, this investigation that is still unfolding. It is believed these crimes are random. Four people were killed, including a mail carrier. Tonight, we spoke to his union president. Crime scene tape creating a web of confusion and heartbreak. Three different areas turning into crime scenes. The first call for help was made at 1:14 Wednesday afternoon. A call was received at our dispatch center. Came in in the 2300 block of Holmes for a medical call. Rockford police responding to Home Street with NECA Drive and here on Cleveland Avenue. First responders describing what some of the victims had to endure. Sounds like a scene straight out of a horror film. Basically, there was a home invasion on Florence. Uh, the young lady ran from them. She got some uh, uh, stab wounds in their hands and her face. She's currently at a hospital and she is intubated. She is in serious condition. One of the uh, one of the uh, Good Samaritans stopped to help her out. Four people died, many of them from being stabbed. A 15-year-old girl, 53-year-old woman, 22-year-old male, and a 49-year-old letter carrier with USPS on the job 25 years. It was made for this job. He was very outgoing, as positive of a person as you could ever meet. His life came to a tragic end when he was run over and then stabbed. His name isn't being released, but those that knew him are speaking on the unbelievable tragedy. Five other residents were transported to the hospital and are being treated with serious injuries. The fire department uh, in total responded with uh, four engine companies and five medic units. All we know about the suspect is he's 22 years old and was taken into custody in the area of one of the crime scenes 21 minutes after the first call for help was made to police. A motive is still unclear, but what is clear? The feeling that the community and the mayor of Rockford feel. Like most Rockfordians just totally shaken by uh, this act of violence. Well, well, as you can see, there are several agencies on the ground as this investigation continues, including postal inspectors. And keep in mind, all of this comes on the heels of a hate crime at the local Walmart here in Rockford just three days ago where a worker was stabbed to death. And because of all of that, emotional support will be available Thursday and also Friday for the community. That will happen at Flynn Middle School. And we're also being told by a person that works with the city to expect an update from Rockford Police come tomorrow. Live in Rockford, Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago.